Caution. A virus has been detected. Caution. A virus has been detected. The battle between antivirus software and computer viruses is an ongoing and dynamic struggle, but the concept of a definitive winner is nuanced. Antivirus solutions are developed to detect, prevent, and mitigate the impact of viruses, employing sophisticated techniques such as signature-based detection, heuristic analysis, behavioral analysis, and machine learning. However, as technology evolves, so do the tactics of malicious actors creating viruses. The dynamic nature of cybersecurity means that new threats continually emerge, often exploiting vulnerabilities or utilizing novel evasion techniques. While antivirus programs play a crucial role in enhancing digital security and protecting users, achieving an absolute victory is challenging due to the adaptability and creativity of those seeking to exploit vulnerabilities. The key lies in the continuous advancement of cybersecurity measures, collaboration between security professionals, and proactive efforts to stay ahead of emerging threats, ensuring a resilient defense against evolving challenges. Now, let us look at how this Game of Thrones started and how it has evolved over the years with no seeming winner in sight. To get a bigger picture, we will visit the day of how and where and when it all started. Welcome to this video. Now let's get into it. 1971 to 1980, early years. 1971, the Creeper virus, the first known computer virus, spreads on ARPANET. In 1971, the concept of computer viruses and dedicated antivirus software had not yet fully emerged. The first recognized computer virus, known as the Creeper, was discovered in the early 1970s, but it was more of an experiment than a malicious program. The Creeper virus was created by Bob Thomas, a computer programmer, and it ran on the DEC PDP-10 mainframe computer. It did not have the destructive intent commonly associated with modern viruses. Instead, it displayed a message on infected computers saying, I'm the Creeper, catch me if you can. To counter the Creeper, another program called the Reaper was developed by Ray Tomlinson. The Reaper acted as a sort of antivirus by actively seeking out and removing instances of the Creeper virus. 1983, Fred Cohen coins the term computer virus and develops the first antivirus software. That's at least according to the general view held in many computer communities. Actually, the history of computer viruses and antivirus software is a bit more nuanced. Fred Cohen did play a significant role in the field of computer security, but he didn't coin the term computer virus in 1983. The term computer virus was first used by the American computer scientist David Gerold in his science fiction novel When Harley Was One, published in 1972. The concept of a computer virus as a self-replicating program that spreads from one computer to another was already present in science fiction before it became a reality in the world of computer science. Fred Cohen did, however, contribute to the field by conducting research on computer viruses and malware. In his 1984 PhD dissertation titled Computer Viruses, Theory and Experiments, Cohen discussed the concept of self-replicating programs and demonstrated a proof-of-concept computer virus on a VEX 11-750 system. This research marked a key step in understanding and addressing the threat of computer viruses. The first antivirus software is often credited to the Pakistani computer scientist and researcher Dr. Rehan Jalil. In 1986, he created a program called Brain, designed to protect IBM PC-compatible computers from the Pakistani brain virus. Brain is considered the first antivirus software, and it marked the beginning of the antivirus industry. 1987, Vienna Virus the Vienna virus, also known as AIDS or Vienna.A, is one of the early computer viruses that emerged in 1987. This virus targeted MS-DOS systems, infecting executable files and spreading through infected floppy disks. The name Vienna is derived from the fact that some infected software claimed to be a Vienna Christmas game. The Vienna virus was notable for several reasons. Stealth techniques, Vienna used stealth techniques to avoid detection. It would hide the increase in file size caused by its presence, making it harder for users to notice the infection. Payload, the virus did not cause significant harm to data or files. Instead, it displayed a message on the computer screen claiming that the user's software license had expired and it urged the user to contact the software vendor for renewal. This was a form of social engineering intended to trick users into taking action. Spread, Vienna primarily spread through infected floppy disks. 
At the time, sharing software on floppy disks was a common practice, making it an effective vector for the virus to propagate. It is during the same year in 1987 that John McAfee of the McAfee Antivirus founded McAfee Associates in 1987 and released the first commercial antivirus software known as VirusScan. This marked a significant step in the commercialization of antivirus solutions. John McAfee was an American computer programmer and entrepreneur. The company played a pivotal role in the early days of the antivirus industry. John McAfee initially developed the company's flagship product, VirusScan, which became widely recognized as one of the earliest antivirus software solutions. VirusScan was designed to detect and remove computer viruses from infected systems, providing a crucial defense against the growing threat of malware. During the late 1980s and early 1990s, when computer viruses were becoming more prevalent, McAfee Associates contributed significantly to the development and popularization of antivirus technologies. The success of McAfee Associates helped establish John McAfee as a notable figure in the cybersecurity industry. However, the company went through several changes over the years. In 1994, McAfee resigned from the company and McAfee Associates was eventually acquired by Network General Corporation. The McAfee brand continued to evolve under different ownerships and went through various transformations. In 2011, Intel Corporation acquired McAfee and the company was rebranded as Intel Security. In 2016, Intel announced a strategic partnership with TPG Capital, a private equity firm, to establish a new joint venture called McAfee. This move resulted in the McAfee brand being resurrected as an independent cybersecurity company. 1988, Morris Worm. The Morris Worm, created by Robert Tappan Morris, infected thousands of Unix-based systems and was a major catalyst for the development of antivirus software. Robert Tappan Morris was a graduate student at Cornell University. The virus was unleashed on November 2, 1988. The Morris Worm, also known as the Great Worm, was one of the first computer worms to gain significant attention for its widespread impact on the early internet. Here are some key points about the Morris Worm. Purpose, Morris did not create the worm with malicious intent. Instead, he intended to gauge the size of the internet by creating a self-replicating program that would spread to different computers and report back. Unfortunately, due to a programming error, the worm ended up causing much more disruption than Morris had anticipated. Spread, the worm spread rapidly, exploiting vulnerabilities in Unix systems. It didn't directly damage or destroy files, but replicated itself excessively, causing system slowdowns and making affected computers unresponsive. Impact, the Morris worm infected approximately 6,000 computers connected to the early internet. Its rapid spread led to a significant degradation of internet services and drew widespread attention to the vulnerabilities of networked computer systems. Consequences, the Morris Worm resulted in the first conviction under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. Robert Tappan Morris was found guilty of unauthorized access to computers and causing damage. He was sentenced to community service, fines, and probation. Legacy, the Morris Worm had a lasting impact on the field of computer security. It highlighted the need for improved cybersecurity measures and led to increased awareness of the potential dangers of self-replicating malware. 1990s, signature-based detection and heuristic analysis. The 1990s were a crucial period in the evolution of antivirus technologies, marked by the refinement and development of two significant approaches to malware detection, signature-based detection and heuristic analysis. Signature-based detection. Definition, signature-based detection involves identifying known malware based on specific patterns or signatures that are characteristic of particular viruses or malicious code. How it works, antivirus software relies on a database of virus signatures, which are essentially unique characteristics or sequences of code associated with known malware. When a file is scanned, the antivirus program compares its code to the signatures in the database. Advantages, effective at detecting known viruses for which signatures are available. It is generally efficient and provides a high level of accuracy. Limitations, limited to detecting known threats, it may struggle with new or previously unknown malware, zero-day threats, for which no signatures exist. Heuristic analysis. Definition, heuristic analysis involves identifying potential threats based on behavioral or code attributes that may indicate malicious intent rather than relying on specific signatures. 
How it works. Antivirus programs using heuristic analysis examine the behavior of files or code to identify characteristics commonly associated with malware. This approach allows for the detection of previously unknown or evolving threats. Advantages more adaptive than signature-based detection capable of identifying new and unknown threats. Provides an additional layer of defense against zero-day attacks. Limitations can produce false positives identifying legitimate software as malicious and may not be as accurate as signature-based detection for known threats. During the 1990s, antivirus software vendors increasingly adopted a combination of both signature-based detection and heuristic analysis to provide more comprehensive protection. The integration of these techniques aimed to address the limitations of each method individually. 1990, Symantec releases Norton Antivirus. Symantec, a prominent cybersecurity company, did release Norton Antivirus in 1990, marking a significant milestone in the history of antivirus software. Norton Antivirus quickly gained popularity and became one of the most widely used antivirus solutions. Here are some key points about Norton Antivirus and its release in 1990. Introduction of Norton Antivirus Symantec introduced Norton Antivirus as a software solution designed to detect and remove computer viruses from infected systems. Norton Antivirus aimed to provide real-time protection against a variety of malware, including viruses, worms, and other malicious software. Evolution of Norton Antivirus Over the years, Norton Antivirus underwent numerous updates and enhancements to keep pace with the evolving landscape of cybersecurity threats. Symantec expanded its Norton product line to include a suite of security tools offering comprehensive protection beyond antivirus features. Popularity and success Norton Antivirus became widely popular due to its effectiveness in detecting and removing viruses. Symantec's reputation and the success of Norton Antivirus contributed to the company's prominence in the cybersecurity industry. Integration with Security Suites in addition to standalone antivirus protection, Norton products evolved to include comprehensive security suites that encompassed features such as firewall protection, anti-spyware, and more. It's important to note that the specific features, interface, and capabilities of Norton antivirus have evolved significantly since its initial release in 1990. The Norton brand has remained a recognizable name in the antivirus industry with Symantec continually adapting its products to address emerging threats. 1995, Windows 95 sees a surge in PC viruses. 1996, first macro virus concept is discovered. 1999, heuristic analysis becomes more common in antivirus solutions. 2000s, behavioral-based detection and cloud security. 2000, I love you virus spreads globally, causing significant damage. 2005, Kaspersky Lab introduces behavior-based detection. 2008, Cloud-based security solutions gain popularity. 2010, Stuxnet, a sophisticated worm, targets industrial systems. 2010's, Rise of Machine Learning and AI. 2012, Flame, a highly complex espionage malware, is discovered. 2014, ransomware attacks, like CryptoLocker, become prevalent. 2017, WannaCry ransomware attack affects thousands of systems. 2018, machine learning and AI play a larger role in antivirus solutions. 2020's Next Generation Antivirus 2020, Emotet emerges as a major threat showcasing advanced capabilities. 2021, SolarWinds Supply Chain Attack exposes vulnerabilities in software supply chains. Present, Next Generation Antivirus Solutions integrate advanced technologies for improved threat detection and response.